What's up, guys? Come on, we're going to see Josh, AKA Lil Cool. I see him. What's up, Josh? Danielle! Hi, what a pleasant surprise. You. What's up? Welcome to my little world. Thank you. So this one, it's called Dottie's Dream, and she is basically dreaming of this wavy world of intertwining pipes of black gold. Who's this chick? This is Dottie. Describe Dottie. Dottie is a very strong, independent woman. She is driven by all of the problems of the world, and she wants to fight back. Here's the pipes. The society pipes. Yeah. Okay. Here's Black gold squirting out. You oh, that's that? black gold. Yeah. Okay, oil, what exactly right? is black gold? Oh, oil. Oh, Ooh, okay, this right. is real controversial. Okay, so what is this one? Dottie. Yeah, this is Dottie. This is a glam. This looks like a glam shot of my girl Dottie. It is. It's very formal, figurative. This is my first start into the developing of my style of figurative drawing. I'm just kind of teaching myself. It's just like a diary I love of these doodles. Ones. These are called character studies. Okay. More or less, so if I see like a funny cartoon that I like, and then I'm like, oh, I'm gonna draw it my way, or a characteristic mm -hmm. about a cartoon, you know, I take apart a lot of like types of cartoons and characters that I already like and kind of develop like my style based off of some of that. Like these are some flowers that I'm developing for new flower paintings. Flowers have, have started because I was working with Gypsy Sport on okay. their textiles for their uh, upcoming fashion shows. You home make your paints. All this what do you paint start with whatever. and like how do you do it? I follow a lot of color palettes from certain colors. This is uh, Itten. He was a philosopher and uh, professor in the 1920s at mm -hmm. the school Bauhaus. It just talks about the color wheel, how much color is in each portion, how they flow, what color looks like next to each other. Yeah. So you look at this and you're like, all right, what are my colors? What do I, what do I feel for this painting? Like starting out, I use uh, just the primary colors. And so this is all just solid pigment. So this is high solid gel. It helps things kind of like look a Take little form. cakey. You can add a retarder. You know, Do have you go to school for this? No, I'm okay. all self taught. And then Once again, college not needed. Yeah, unless your parents are paying for it. This isn't gonna be realistic, so you really don't need to be looking at me. It's pretty much just a bobblehead. I know it is, yeah. but I have to make it look like it's realistic. Yeah, I'm just doing a rough sketch. Right now, I'm just gonna go in with some red for your lips. This tongue thing seems re relatively new for you. It's iconic, you know, like when you look at iconic symbolism, like especially with like the, the lips and the tongue, your first thought is Rolling Stones. And then yeah. your second thought is like 1960s acid culture. Yeah, so with that vibe, we'll bring in the green next and then that should really pop. <laughs> Canal, right behind it. What was the finish. info behind this piece? The flowers and patterns that I've been doing. Okay. This building before was really ugly. Cute. So I was thinking like it could be nice to have flowers and like kind of a jungle scene like in the middle of you yeah. know, Brooklyn. You know, you want to try? Okay, cool. There. So just I've, I've never done this. This is gonna make a lot of my exes laugh, but okay. <laughs> yeah, in the lines, looking good. Yeah. Do like a little petal here. Okay. This is what three days work? Cool. Oh my god, Danielle, do you want to tag your name somewhere? Do like someone actually somewhere right legally? <laughs> Danielle, damn girl. 
That looks really bad. <laughs> so sick. So sick. There you go, Daniel. Get some little accents. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. Dude. So sick. <laughs>